Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. We're gonna try to do a, uh, a Mega Satan run today. So we're gonna start with everybody's the easiest, you know, favorite character here. Isaac, with Curse of the Blind, doesn't really matter that much. So what is our, our MO here? I've already done one attempted Mega Satan run as Zazel and died. Uh, so the the methodology, I died on Mega Satan. We got that part accomplished, but um, the uh, the methodology is fairly simple and already well documented. We save one bomb. We ignore our first deal with the devil, regardless of what it actually is. Uh, I'll use Guppy's paw once. Maybe get a second Guppy item, uh, which we did. This sets us up very nicely. Although I have to skip Guppy deals and or devil deals with Guppy in the future in order to preserve our. Uh, deal with the angel possibilities, but still, it's a great uh, opportunity for us. Um, yes, try to get a deal with the angel precedent by getting a deal with the angel, and then um, using a bomb to blow up the angel statue, pick up the key pieces, it, fairly obvious. Got a bomb and a key back here. Might as well take the penny as well, you never know when it could give us a, a renegade joker card or something like that. So we're hoping to be able to reroll um, the D7. I doubt we will be able to do it. I know people love the, the D7. It has all sorts of cool possibilities and uh, permutations that can result. It's not my speed, you know? I'm the, I'm the dude, you know, after the invention of the car, I'm like, well, I don't understand why people... The horse and buggy's just fine. It's, I am painting myself as like a traditionalist in some ways. You know, the, the item is a little bit more advanced and uh, it, it fills a niche that I don't necessarily consider myself to desire right now, which is basically like making it easier to get super ideal payouts and breaking runs and stuff like that. I'm more of a roll with the punches kind of guy, not to, you know, here's my recipe for great roll, great rolls and punches. I don't know, it's, it's like a good housekeeping snippet I stole or something like that, I don't know. Um, as of right now, we're more or less guaranteed our first deal with the devil. We hope that it gives us the chance to skip it. Well, I guess it will give us the chance to skip it no matter what, right? Like, if, even if it's got nothing in it, it still counts as not having deal with the devil precedent. Uh, and we'll try to, I think what we did on our uh, Azazel run is I tried to get early banks so that I could donate money to our donation machine and in doing so cause there to be a greater chance for us to get a deal with the angel because I believe if you donate 11 or 12 cents you get a better, uh, a better chance at getting a deal with the angel. So I don't think we have to do it this floor but uh, if we can do it within the next floor or two that would be nice. And just to maximize our chances. Now of course if we could become Guppy via a curse room or a, a, otherwise a red chest somewhere else, that would be amazing for us. Because that would mean that uh, I have a really much greater chance of beating Mega Satan as a result of that. I can't believe I died against Mega Satan as a Zazel. But people, you know, they look at that run in a vacuum. And I understand why, because people might watch that, you know, without having the context of the recent episodes before it. It was right after I'd beaten Hush with The Lost and was like mentally exhausted. Which is not necessarily a, a great excuse, but I was like, you know, I'm playing a little sloppy. I know I'm playing a little sloppy. I know why I'm playing a little sloppy. Um, just make sure we save a bomb here. We, I mean, I don't think we're going to get a deal with the angel, but we might as well give ourselves a chance anyway. Uh, it, it, just in case. Just in case. Ooh, a crawl space or black market. It is a crawl space with multi-dimensional baby, which I think is okay. It's better than a black market because we couldn't take anything from the black market anyway. Kind of a little known, like, advanced, you know, master's degree level Isaac uh, piece of trivia is that if you ever pay HP for a, an item, that counts as your deal with the devil precedent. At least it did as of Rebirth. So uh, if you take a, uh, a black market deal, that gives you deal with the devil precedent even though you didn't take a deal from the deal with the devil. I know that sounds strange and confusing. It was strange and confusing to me the first time I found out after Caden and I had spent like uh, an hour and a half or two hours facilitating this breaking run. Uh, it was quite the shock to us as you can probably imagine but uh, we learned and uh, that was one way to learn that lesson that made sure I never forgot it. In our present timeline though everything's going just fine. Just peachy right now. Keep cracking these pots not every single one pays out with coins, but we don't need all of them to pay out with coins for us to be able to get to that 11 cents necessary to uh, to create uh, the, the angel bias in the shop via the donation machine. That's what we're hoping for, at least. We go all the way down to half a heart here. That allows us to get to 13 cents. Uh, you know what? Why not donate it to the shop on this floor? I mean, there is a genuine why not reason, but I don't know if it actually applies to us here. 
The why not would be uh, maybe if you get deal with the angel bias right now from your donation machine. And by the way, I don't remember whether it's 11 or 12 cents or 9 cents, but somewhere in that vicinity. Um, it might kind of be used before the next floor if it's something that's that's tangible and gets used up. But I don't think it is. I think it's just like a, a flat like percentage increase as the game goes on. So uh, this is it's fine. We're actually at the point where we might be able to, if we get super lucky with the drops here, be able to buy something and also do our deal with the angel shenanigans. Maybe. Wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Our speed downgrade is quite poor here. 20 cents. Okay. Let's gamble a little bit. We want to donate at least 11, but it's always possible that the machine kind of cracks up before we get to that point, you know? Like Jimmy Fallon during his earliest days on SNL. Uh, we want Sackboy, though. Like, really. So, probably I will actually just go down to 15 cents and then get Sackboy, which is just too absurd for me to pass up. And then we'll donate as much money as possible after that. So that's a, I, I can live with that for now. We are very, very slow right now. Now I need to remind myself, do not take the deal with the devil. You're gonna want to. It could be a guppy item. You're gonna be like, oh guppy already. Don't do it, okay? I actually dislike super bandage, but especially I think I have a, a predisposition to dislike it when our HP is low. Uh, so let's... Uh, Let's donate some more money. I mean, we donated like seven, and then one, and then three. This will be three, so assuming it takes it all, which it did, I think we donated 11. So we shouldn't get a deal with the devil here, but we should have a good chance to get one. Or sorry, a deal with the angel here. We should have a good chance to get one in the future, I think. This is worth using a devil card on, just because I worry that um, my speed is so low, I have a better chance than an average of getting hit by these little ghosts. Yep, well, I walked into that one, but... If that's the, the damage we've taken, that's not so bad so far. So I'm thinking, get to multi-dimensional baby sorted like right there. That's the good stuff. And then we just stand right on top of it and allow ourselves to take some damage there was no reason to take. Best laid plans of mice and men, etc, etc. Cat of nine tails, a fine item. And then in here we say, oh, it's good, but it's not uh, that good. Let's head down to the next floor. We might be able to still get a deal with the devil. We just need the two angel deals to happen first. All right, Flooded Caves 1. So I'm stoked to have the pentagram because uh, this does give us a better deal with the angel chance as well. Just gives us a better chance of getting the deal in the first place. We also just became Guppy, which is pretty dope. So the Guppy dream is complete. Uh, Black Candle's real good as well. Uh, I feel pretty excellent about the fact that uh, my speed sucked, but now we can fly. So um, we, we have the power necessary to kill Mega Satan now. The only question becomes, can we facilitate the actual um, ability, I guess? Uh, the, can we get the key, is, is the non-weirdo way of saying that, which I failed to mention. Um, it's not good enough, obviously, deck of cards to replace the D6, but uh, did give us the Hero Font, and then we'll re-roll it, and we got tons of battery charges. But I think Bob's Curse is okay, and the thing that kind of swings me even a little bit more in the favor of Bob's Curse right now is... There's no way I'm going to use 9, 10 bombs on this floor and then um, not have something available for a possible deal with the Angel Statue. Which we have to blow up to get the key pieces. So, um, I'm just not going to take too many chances. And we are kind of in this situation where, no matter what happens, our damage is sorted. So we don't really have to go too hard on the rerolls if we're being provided with a decent benefit to start with. We can just kind of, you know, roll with the punches, basically. We can, we can play almost as if we don't have the D6, which is not an advantage. I'd rather play as if we have the D6, but uh, a little bit more conservatively than normal, perhaps. Might as well crack into these. Power Pill gives us uh, that benefit. We shouldn't squander it completely. Still hoping for tiers upgrades, and, you know, above all else, and I really do mean all else, uh, the speed upgrades that I've been asking for for a floor or two would be real nice, because uh, I find myself, like... I really felt like that damage against those enemies was bad, but at the same time, I was like, on any other run, I'd be moving fast enough to not be in a dangerous spot right now. So I don't expect a deal with the Angel here, but there's a chance, a non-zero chance. And once we get this deal with the Angel and start getting our precedent, I can stop, you know, concerning myself exclusively with its existence. <laughs> Just gonna be a nice moment for us from a commentary standpoint. There we go. Uh, we did get the deal with the Angel. Scapular is good enough to take, so let's take it. Uh, I stomped on that, which is very sensible. Um, and then, uh, 
That did not hit me. Okay, we made it. Take our key piece. Take the sack. Um, I can't take the battery, unfortunately, obviously. But re-roll this becomes HP. And I think we'll just leave. What? Can we get the second key piece? I don't think this will give us anything. But I also feel like, why wouldn't we try, right? Well, here's one reason, because I'm taking a lot of damage. But I do have a sun card. It's the speed downgrade combined with this tiny room, man. I really, really do not want to just lose the sun card here. At least I could use it on the next floor and get mapping, but I only have one bomb left now. It dropped the second key piece. We've done it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Okay, well, obviously we'll take the sun card because we have the D6 as well. All right, let's head down to the next floor. Key piece completed. Um, that's awesome. This was not very smart of me. And now we've squandered our deal with the devil chance. But we don't need a deal with the devil. I keep thinking that's going to work out for me. What we need is speed. And this is not even like a... I feel the need, the need for speed. This is like I, I actually will die eventually if I don't have it. I can play better than I am right now. That's not even like up for debate. But uh, we need some speed if we're going to swing this. Gemini is okay. It's worth taking at least. Um, and we'll go back and go to our reroll room and not reroll room, sorry, our uh, secret room, and we'll try to go to our curse room as well. But um, we slow, man. We slow. So drop this in here. Now we basically ah, it's worth taking. We basically have deal with the angel precedent, which is not bad. Especially with rerolls, we could blow up uh, angel statue. Maybe no, it's not going to give us any more pedestals. Well, in this case, we don't have to fight anything. We just get free uh, deals. If we get Deals with the Devil instead, that's probably even better, because I would I would trade HP for more damage. Mostly, I just want more speed, though, if you could believe that. Infested. Tears up. Okay, I mean, it was worth it. I decided not to take perks with me, because, you know, it, it doesn't make a huge difference one way or the other. The Sacks may, though. The Sacks may. Injustice is well worth using. Getting a lot of HP. We're only on the Caves, too, and... We're kind of, like, despite that super early guppy pickup, we're still going so slow as a result of the thunder thighs. Never should have uh, opted in for that, man. But I was like, you know what? That'll allow us to crack so many pots. We'll get so much money. And we weren't totally wrong in that, but... Uh, didn't totally work out for us either. So tell you what. Do that. Blow up several things at the same time. Get a lot of sacks. The sacks will give you money and probably batteries. Great damage there. Um, and then you use the batteries to reroll the stopwatch, which we don't want. We don't want the ladder. We don't really want wooden nickel, I think. Uh, car battery. I don't even understand how this will work in our situation. We got a speed down pill. This is a problem. This is now uh, an, an actual thing that we have to worry about for the future. We need a speed upgrade. Uh, almost to the point of like rerolling our boss until we get a speed upgrade exclusively. Uh, I thought we got... No, Speedball was our last run? I can't remember. But this is something we need to actually prioritize beyond just like, Ha! Ah, we're slow! This is like, oh shit, no, we're like, we're slow. We are slow. So, get out of jail free card, I think means we don't even need the key piece. Which, I, I wish that I could be like, oh, that's stupid. Why do I even bother fucking game blah blah? But there is like a 1 in 100 chance we pulled one on this run. So, I'm not going to be too bent out of shape about it. So yes, I rerolled. I wanted to see if that gave us a deal with the uh, devil here. I, I rerolled uh, Squeezy, and I took Squeezy's cousin Dolly instead. But uh, it's uh, it's a living, I guess. We're gonna continue trying to get a speed upgrade out of this somewhere. All we need is a pill, speed upgrade pill. They've been known to exist. Check our curse room for something. That could be the pill. Infested? We could skip this entire floor. I don't think that's the right course of action. But we could. I'm not gonna deny that. This is so slow that I'm actually like, we should skip. Like, there's a little devil on my shoulder. He's like, hey, what if you just skip one entire floor? Don't even go to the boss room. We're the deal with the devil. Who cares? You're gonna win anyway. You're guppy. And I'm like, no! Deal with the devil on my shoulder. Back it up a little bit, okay? We gotta do our due diligence. What if you just skipped one item room? What if you find the boss room here? Just skip the item room. If it's too far away, you're too slow. This is a bad habit. 
You're giving me bad habits. Our speed has become the, the narrative here when it's not meant to be. I am real stoked, though, to find that our uh, item room is on the same path as what I assume our boss uh, room is. Marked. I hate it, but I'm going to take it because it's unusual. And um, I don't really have any better reasons than that, but that's okay. Maybe. It's not a speed upgrade. Hermit card is for our boss rush. We're obviously going to try to swing a boss rush here. We have a teleport card. You know, it's it's the old faithful. Yeah, we'll take this as well. And Jar of Flies is pretty good. I'm not going to dispute that. But uh, we're going to instead not take it because the D6 is better. And we'll try to buy a battery charge, which is not available here. So then we'll go up here. We'll buy a battery charge from this. So we'll probably get a battery charge for free. No, we didn't. Shows me. We'll head up. Fight the Fallen. So Marked was a, a dubious pickup, I'll admit. Man, look at this damage, though. That's not Marked's fault or help. KD and Conception is okay. Nun's Habit, I don't think it's worth it with the D6, man. The Mind, I'm so much happier to have. And I don't think there's any point to fighting the Angel Statue when we already have both key pieces. So now... We know exactly where to go, and we also have Black Candle, so we're never going to be confused about where to go in the future. Um, right, we can't, that makes sense. I was like, we should be able to go in there. Wait a minute, no we shouldn't. <laughs> under, under no circumstances. Kind of thinking I should have taken the extra time to reroll Marked. But that's okay. For enemies that literally just fire in a straight, or stand in a straight line against us, it's perfect. Speed upgrade somehow? Hanged Man? I mean, it's not not a speed upgrade. Well, actually, you know what? Literally is isn't a speed upgrade, now that I think about it. Now, the IV, or sorry, the Blood Bag no longer gives you a speed upgrade, so it's less of a priority, I think. Blue Baby's only friends? He's good. Probably irrelevant, but good nonetheless. I know, we could walk this up to our Blood Bank, but I'm feeling, like, indignant. The game has made me indignant with my speed right now. Joker. Let's Joker. Let's go one more room, then we'll Joker. We might uh, be better off carrying it with us, but we want to teleport anyway later. Uh, and we actually did get a deal with the devil this time, which I am thrilled about. We can already fly. So I think we take uh, Dark Matter, and I think we'll take Headless Baby as well, because it does well against enemies that try to close down uh, space on us. So I, I think that's well worth it. And we'll take the Hermit to allow us to go to our uh, our boss rush without having to teleport in the future. Man, it is surprisingly tough on the old brain here to try to use Marked and blow these up at the same time. Okay, so obviously the most important thing for us is having enough HP to beat Mega Satan at this point. I mean, if you want to get hyper-literal, sure, we need to beat all the rooms preceding it as well, but uh, that's... Not really much of an issue given the fact that we have um, awesome damage. Mark throws a little bit of a monkey wrench into it, but not enough to be super concerned. Now, this is the good stuff right here. I want to stop crushing these things. There's already too many turrets. The guys. We don't have a curse, but I'll take the extra spirit heart. Hermit. Lovers. World. I almost popped the Hermit card by accident there. Another Joker card. So now we keep the Joker card. No, we should keep the Hermit card still. Yeah, don't be an idiot. Why Why are you so much? I guess you're a champion. Um, the reason we keep the Hermit card is because we know we're going to want to teleport with this. That way we can take our Joker card down to the next floor. But I, I'll admit... Taking a lot of damage, and sometimes there is the, the problem where you become too strong too quickly, and you get a little bit of, like, affluenza, you know? And you find yourself taking dumb damage you should not be taking. I would, I would love the relic. I doubt we're going to get it anytime soon, but I would love the relic regardless. Let's fight Mom. Should be easy. So I'm thinking we get Blue Baby's only friend in the middle. And then just try to keep Marked pointing 
in a convenience wait a minute no there we go okay try to get them to like line up on top of one another it's not easy at all you know what this is a terrible idea let's just shoot and if blue baby's only friend does any bonus damage then that's that's just a bonus isn't it uh we'll take the polaroid always trying to innovate a little bit i guess uh let's take eden's blessing That'll make our next run more fun as a result. I think that's one of those items that I should be taking all the time. In order to try to uh, make our next runs more fun. Suicide King. Well, that's an interesting one right now. The Gauze. That's very valuable. Suic two Suicide Kings? That's extremely unlikely. So the Suicide King is in and of itself kind of a fun card. But um, we can't afford to take it because there's a pretty good chance that we do. We will die. So let's not and say we did. To bring back the parlance of my youth. Uh, nothing there. Sweet. Uh, let's down to the next floor. Don't need to pop the Joker card. Probably got a pretty good shot at a deal with the devil naturally. Hopefully we get a uh, speed upgrade. At this point, you got to feel like even a single speed upgrade would feel like an incredible gift. Um, it, and make us, you know, faster than I could possibly imagine. Uh, i tell you right off the bat, that's not a very good use of the Algus rune. <laughs> Probably didn't need my uh, my analysis on that one, but it is indeed the case. That's not very strong. I'm going to be leaving behind a lot of consumables, I think, as a result of my own laziness, uh, aided and abetted by the, um, the lack of uh, urgency that we have on this run right now. So I worry that we've just got the wrong kind of, like, run right now for Mega Satan because of the idiotic damage that I've been taking, which is entirely my own fault. But it's predicated upon this low speed. I'm telling you, I wouldn't I wouldn't steer you wrong. If the game gave me a speed upgrade, my confidence would go up like tenfold. I don't think we've been playing that badly. It's just that I'm, like, grossly not used to the adjustment you need to make when you've gotten two pretty large speed downgrades. You can try the seed for your... Did I even show you the seed? There you go. Z1GEY7CE. Um, I wish it showed you the seed on a win, because, like, I've been forgetting the seed a lot lately, because I've been doing dailies and, and greed mode runs and stuff like that. Not that you don't need the seed for greed mode. Um, and then, you know, when you die, it shows you the seed, which I think is a really nice addition. But when you're alive and you win the run, I think it should give you a little quick flash of the seed as well. But anyway. So far, so good. Doing, we're doing well on this floor. This is a big floor. If we had an Emperor card, I would have been readily tempted into actually using it here. Recognize that I'm leaving behind uh, some sacks. Is that okay? It's probably okay. It's not the right strategy, but it's probably not going to be like the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine by REM or Great Big C or anything like that. Wanna, I really wish that Blue Baby's only friend How did we not get hit there? I wish that Blue Baby's only friend and Marked Occupied the same space It would make it so much easier on my brain to sort this out Another key Arguably worth the cost of doing business Okay, this would be a great time to get a real deal And I'm not talking about Evander Holyfield See that was his nickname uh, we'll take our HP and then we'll use the Joker card. We'll reroll Demon Baby into Book of Sin. Or sorry, Satanic Bible. And I, I honestly think we probably want Satanic Bible. Yeah. Yeah, probably. I, I, as much as this is a little boring, I think it's also important. Much closer to our boss room this time. Uh, it's also important for us to ensure that we don't get hit in the future. Or if we get hit in the future, it's not as bad, I guess. Uh, and the ability to get a little extra charge on it as a result of AAA battery is good. Of course, we'll get the extra batteries from the sacks. So I'm thinking we have a pretty good chance to just, like, steamroll this run now. Which is exactly what we want to do, of course. See, there's two battery charges, and then we'll get a another charge on this room. And we're almost at full HP again. Oh, we're at more than full HP because uh, we also have the double uh, effect from car batteries. So yeah, I mean, it was a good pickup, but now I'm kind of like, oh, they made it too easy. <laughs> <laughs> I know I complained for a while, but I'm like, ah, uh, you know, it's, it's too simple now. What do we get from our boss? Because I feel a little faster, or maybe I'm just getting used to it. That's, that's a dangerous mindset here. Um, admittedly, could fight Hush on this run. I don't really want to. 
But, uh, but we could. No question about that. That's really great damage. Uh, let's check our deal with the devil, where we will fight Krampus and just absolutely shit smoke him. I don't know what that means. That's a sentence that is largely uh, nonsensical, I think. Emperor? <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. Let's head, uh, we took the Polaroid. So let's head up. All we gotta do is be Mega Satan. We don't need to get any more fancy than that. It is not an uh, outrageous length to go to get to our uh, our devil deal. I don't know what rune it was. suppose we should have probably saved that for the chest just in case it was the Yara rune, but... What's done is done, as I always say. To, you know, wash away my excuses. Uh, and now that I think about it, we don't need an Emperor card. I mean, we don't need a Magician card either. I don't know how much that would help us with Marked, but... Uh, we'll see what the card is. It could be valuable, even if it's a Chariot or something. The Stars. Nah. Not too invested in this. See, if we can just get... um, That was terrible on my part. If we can get Multi-Dimensional Baby... Blue Baby's only friend and marked to line up. We steamroll enemies so quickly. The problem is getting them to line up is its own, you know, unique challenge here. That's the good stuff, sort of. Like this. <laughs> Every time we dodge, we're gonna fuck up multi-dimensional baby, but that that did allow us to do a lot of damage in a short period of time. Uh but this lucky so-and-so managed to get himself out of the way before things got truly dire. At that point, I just had to, you know, get in the bomb shelter. It basically looked like we were gonna get hit there, and thankfully we didn't. We'll do the same. I am the world's greatest. Maybe we, we got like mini mush or something, and that makes our hitbox small enough to not get hit there. Okay, it's probably a good time to just do Mega Satan. Take the items from the chest, but do Mega Satan, and then, you know, never concern yourself with this again. Uh, it's possible that we shouldn't have taken Shielded Tears, but we still have the damage from Blue Baby's only friend coming over the top. And I'm also not taking Dark Judas, because I'll do the Judas run to beat Mega Satan. That'll happen by itself one day. So this is going to be a little bit of a nightmare in terms of, like, always rearranging our, our crosshair whenever, like, Mega Satan chooses to spawn familiars, or enemies, as they like to call them. Um, but... We're well positioned. We can easily get kind of everything going at the same time here. Yeah, that's that's the good stuff right there. As long as we keep Blue Baby's only friend uh, in position, all we need to do is position ourselves close enough. Like in, in line of sight with uh, Mega Satan. Not close enough, but in line of sight with Mega Satan so that we can actually hit him at the same time. And Magician is going to make that easier, of course. Focusing mostly on uh, doing damage from our own tiers, because that's what allows us to spawn batteries, not batteries, flies. I don't know how I got those two confused. They don't even occupy the same ecological niche. Batteries are, you know, what your mom uses for... She puts them in the... the it, your mom. Your mom. Your dad can't satisfy her sexually, so she uses a device. I, I, would, I don't know that. Your dad might be a very skilled lover. I wouldn't know that either. You know what, though? I bet he is. Try not to think about it. Okay. That's what we're looking for right there. Obviously, Shielded Tear is not really doing too, too much for us right now. Or, we're not doing too much with Marked as a result of Shielded Tears, but we are gonna beat Mega Satan. And, my god, it's an item unlock. I haven't seen one of these since, uh... Junior year. I think we're going to kill him just by standing here. So I'm going to continue to do so, even if he fires a sweet brimstone laser at me. Yeah, that was easy. Fun run, though. Weird run, though. Wish I'd gotten some speed at some point. Buddy Baby and Cry Baby were the unlocks there, according to my, you know, pop-up. And there you can see them. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.